Hello, this is Jacqueline with Vibrational Energy Solutions, and I'm here to bring you Soul Bite One, which is your introduction to the doorway to your divine destiny. Today, I wanted to share with you a little bit about self-responsibility. What do I know about self-responsibility? <laughs> um, sharing with you that I am the youngest of six kids. Uh, being responsible for myself is an art of my heart, which is definitely in progress. So sharing this journey with you actually is about helping you to grow and understand that a lot of times we have limitations that we put on ourselves. Um, others have actually put on us as well. And today I wanted to talk to you about a little bit about and share with you about having agency over your life. Because if it's to be, it's up to me. If it's, if it's to be, it's up to you to make the choices, the healthy choices, that will help you to live a happy life that's connected to your heart. So my mission is to help a million people come home to their heart. And as part of that mission, I know that many of us are walking around metaphorically being homeless. And so we get to do our homework to help us discover how it is that we do get to find that residency within our own selves to connect with our soul and share from that space so that we can come forward without being traumatized. We can actually come from a space of understanding, compassion, and knowing that that you matter. And so let's jump into Soul Bite One. So we have certain responsibilities that if we can stay true to those responsibilities, they help us to not look at life as if it's happening to us, but that it's happening for us. And so a couple of those key things that I want to share with you today is being responsible for being the source of love. We hear a lot the buzzword self-love, but it's not just a buzzword. It's a way of living so that you're not dependent on someone else. You come together with a cup that's full. And although we, we all still have traumas, that have memories that will trigger us, if we come from that space of knowing that we're coming with a full cup into relationship with another person, it allows us to see what it is that is coming up in our lives. When triggers come up, they come up because it's there because it's time to heal it, not because we want someone to take care of it, to fix it. It's coming up to heal. And if we can come together in compassion, it allows that sense of safety, but it takes two people, if you're looking at relationship, to be able to come together. And this wasn't supposed to be about relationship. It's supposed to be about you being empowered, but you being empowered is seeing this that you get to be the source of your love, your validation, your approval, and your own safety. And many times we haven't been taught this. We haven't been taught how to create from being the source of our own self-love, valid validation, approval, or safety. And it's definitely learned skills. And just like you, I still have my triggers that come up. I still have my tests, tests that the universe gives me, and then tests that maybe my mind, my self-sabotage, my, my own self-defeating behaviors, if I don't catch them in the instant, they come up because there's a part of me, each one of us, has different parts that are at play. And there's a lot of fragmentation that occurs and it, it happens to 
pretty much everyone on this planet. And this creates the feeling that there's different, different parts of us that may even correlate to having a, day, a different age-specific trauma that maybe occurred that created a pattern. And it's up, up to us to be able to witness ourselves, to be able to witness what is triggering us, and to even witness, are we creating tests with the people in our lives that we care about to see if they have what it takes to stand with you. And I'm not saying that it's right, wrong, or indifferent. I'm saying it occurs. And I'm saying I know this firsthand because I've had the instances in my own life where I've done this. And I've seen it occur in clients. And I want you to know that it actually is something that we get to be aware of so that we can allow each person to be who they are, to look at life events, to look at what people say, what people do, and to realize we get to be neutral. We get to look at everything as neutral. It doesn't mean we have to rush in and try to fix it. It allows us to create space for the person to see themselves and to be a witness, to know that they are seen, to know that they are loved, to know that we care, but we don't have to be the source of causing someone else to feel a certain way. We get to own our feelings. And sometimes those triggers will cause us to have an opportunity to feel deeply. And ultimately, those feelings belong to us. We get to experience how we feel. We get to feel the heartbreak, the helplessness, the grief, the loneliness, even the outrage. And those are all normal feelings, but so often we're taught that we need to push them down. And it is each person's responsibility to feel what they need to feel in order to allow themselves to heal. Because otherwise, what ends up happening is these tests that we give to other people subconsciously, I don't think we do it on purpose, um, or the triggers that we experience, they, we get to be responsible, responsible for feeling our way through it. Because if we don't, we just trigger another segment of experience. So I know that I've talked on many other videos about abandonment because this is a traumatic pattern that I, that I have. And when someone is not able to hold that pattern with me and say, I'm here, you're safe, what can happen is it can open up that abandonment wound even deeper because at the core of the abandonment wound, I know for me, is feeling like I don't matter, feeling that, that I'm gonna be discarded, that I'm expendable. And if I play into that fear, what shows up for me is another experience showing me that I am. And then I get to feel the heartbreak again. So how does this look for you? If you have an abandonment wound, is that something that shows up for you? Do you feel like you're discarded? Do you feel, and are you placing the blame somewhere else? Are you pointing a finger and saying, that person caused me to feel this? Or is it an experience where you can actually allow yourself to feel into it deeper? And of course, depending on the circumstances, you can be outraged, you can be heartbroken, you can feel helpless because everybody's choices 
is their own choice to make. Everybody's feelings is their own feelings to feel. You get to take responsibility because living a life as the victim of circumstance or other people will continue to give you other experiences to show up as the victim. And then you will not be empowered to live your life. You will not be the victor of your life. You will always be at the effect of someone else's choices, someone else's words, thoughts, behaviors. And really, if we look at everything happening as neutral, it's a neutral experience. It's something that allows us to stand in self-responsibility, knowing that we deserve to be loved and I'm going to be the source of that love. Oftentimes, if we're triggered, we will be dysregulated in our nervous system. And when dysregulation happens, if you don't catch it, oh, there's a hummingbird, how beautiful. <laughs> um, right in front of me, oh my goodness. Um, if our bodies are dysregulated in our nervous system, it creates anxiety, it creates more triggers, it creates us questioning our experience. And what we get to do is we get to learn how to self-regulate if we use breathing exercises, that is one way we can do this. I have, um, I am a somatic release breathwork practitioner. And so using the breath to be able to come back to the heart, doing our homework, coming back home to our heart, that is one way we can do that. We can do it through touch to self-soothe. Another way is getting more in the present moment. You could hold an ice cube and feeling the temperature, getting yourself embodied, feeling present in your body, allowing that ice cube to melt, feel the temperature of it. You know, ask yourself, what is my body feeling as I hold this? And continue to check in with what sensations you're feeling. You're feeling the cold, you're feeling the wet, you're feeling and whatever it might be if you hold it long enough you'll feel the numbness but so often we don't even know how we're feeling because we're not checking in and so to be embodied to be heart centered to feel into your heart to come from that space of self responsibility that is where we get to come from so that we can fill up our cup to overflow we can come from our wholeness instead of our brokenness and we can see each other for their light, for your love, for your, your, your light, your love, your presence, and how you get to connect in. But ultimately, it starts right here, and it starts with you. It starts with you connecting in and loving yourself, validating yourself, approving of yourself, creating your own safety, just like me. So I am not indestructible, but I'm also not expendable, not to me. And so I get to be that space of love for me, no matter what. And you get to be that space of love for you because it's your responsibility. This is Jacqueline with Vibrational Energy Solutions. Thank you so much for listening. and. Hoping this soul bite allowed you to connect a little bit deeper to your heart, to your soul, and allows you to expand into your divine destiny. Welcome to the doorway to your divine destiny, and we'll see you on Soul Bite 2. Bye for now.